Hi there, thank you for joining us and today's lesson we'll be looking at rate and ratio. So, a ratio describes the relationship between two or more quantity, quantities measured in the same units. So important parts there, we are dealing with two or more quantities measured in the same units. Okay, so if the two quantities are not in the same unit, say if we're given um, centimeters and another quantity there has meters, we'd have to choose which one we want to convert to. But say if they wanted the answer in meters, you'd have to know that to convert from centimeters to meters, you need to divide by 100 because there are 100 centimeters in a meter. Okay, cool. So that's the important part about the same units. So in an example here, it says, if the length of a desk is 100 centimeters and its breadth is 50 centimeters, the ratio of length to breadth is 100 is to 50. So you can see how they said the ratio of length to breadth. So length goes first. So our length we saw was 100 centimeters. So we put that first over here and it's length to breadth. So breadth is second. And our breadth was 50 centimeters, so we bring it down as 50. But now they say ratios are, however, written in simplest form. So we have, give, they give us 100 is to 50, right? So how are we going to turn that into its simplest form? Straight away, highest common factor we can look at. So highest common factor between 100 and 50 is 50. So we can see 50 goes into 100 twice. And 50 goes into itself once. And so straight away, our simplest form of our ratio gives us the actual ratio of length to breadth, which is 2 is to 1. Now let's look at a rate. A rate describes the relationship between two or more quantities that are measured in different units. So a rate describes the relationship between two or more quantities, once again but that are measured in different units. Can we see that? So the main difference between rate and ratio, ratio we're dealing with same units. So it's a direct ratio. And then with rate, we are dealing with different units. So for example, um, example of rate would be the price of milk is 850 a liter. Okay. Or a car travels at a speed of 120 kilometers per hour so you can see here, it's more evident here the two different quantities that we're using the two different units of measurement we have kilometers and we have hours and a very nice way I like to break this up so you can understand how we get the answer so this kilometers per hour basically means kilometers over hours but I'll explain that in an example later on. So another thing I want to show you guys now is a very important tool that we can use for rate. So let's say we have this triangle over here, right? And we're gonna split it into three quadrants. So the way we're splitting it is like this, right? So at the top here, we're gonna write in distance. The bottom left here we'll write in speed and the bottom right we'll write in time. So what does this mean? So I'm going to try and explain to you now how we can work out speed, time and distance. This distance, speed and time triangle is very important when it comes to rate as a lot of examples do work with these quantities. Okay. So if we wanted to work out distance, right? So basically what I wanted to put here is between speed and time, we're going to put a time sign. What that's basically going to tell us is that if we're trying to work out distance, it's going to be equal to speed times time. Right? And if we're trying to work out speed, now I want you to take note of this. If we're looking at speed, right? We're looking at speed. We can see that we have distance and time as the quantities we need to use. Now, when we're dealing with distance and time, we're going to view this line over here 
to make our fraction. So straight away, you know, distance on top of the fraction, times at the bottom. So what does that mean to you? That means that speed is going to be equal to distance over time. And vice versa, if we're trying to work out time, we can see now, if we're trying to work out time, that distance is over speed. So we write there, time is equal to distance over speed. And that's basically the distance, speed, and time triangle explained. So now let's move on to some actual examples here of some ratios and rates. So they ask us to simplify the following ratios. So example year number one. They ask us a very simple one. Simplify the ratio of four is to six. So we can try and find the highest common factor. In this case, it would be two, right? The highest common factor between four and six is two. So we divide by two. Let me just get that in color. We divide by two and we divide six by two as well. It gets us to our answer of two is to three. Right. If we look at another example over here, let's say they gave us 12 is to 48 is to 120. What is our highest common factor here? If you thought 12, then you'd be correct. Um, so 12 goes, so we're dividing each thing by 12. Twelve does go into each one of these numbers, so our simplified ratio would be twelve divided by twelve. Twelve goes itself once. Twelve goes into forty-eight four times, and into one hundred and twenty. Sorry, my bad over there. And into one hundred and twenty ten times. So our simplified ratio for this would be one is to four is to ten. Okay, let's look at, look at an applied example now. So, they say divide 45 in the ratio two is to three. So, Divide 45 in the ratio, 2 is to 3. So straight away, we know that this side will be made up of two parts of, 35, of 45, and this side will be made of three parts of 45. So we know that these are two parts and this is three parts, so in total they'll add up to five parts. So the first step, whenever they're asking us to divide a number into any ratio, so we're dividing 45 into this ratio over here, we're going to add up the two numbers that's in the ratio. So if we add these two up, two plus three, we get five, right? So once we've gotten that, we're gonna find out how much, how much one unit, one ratio is worth, okay? So how we're gonna do that is we're gonna say 45 divided by our total that we got over here. So we say 45 divided by five which is equal to nine. Okay, so moving on now, we've worked out now that one ratio unit is equal to nine. But now remember, this is two ratio units over here. This over here is two ratio units and this is three ratio units. So we're trying to divide 45 into this ratio, right? So, 
what we're gonna do is we know that this is one ratio unit over here so we need to get it to two and then to three so we're gonna say nine times two first for the one side and then three times two no nine times three sorry nine times three so once we do that we get that by dividing 45 in the ratio 2 is to 3 we get 18 is to 27 and that's how we successfully divide 45 in the ratio 2 is to 3 and as you can see if we're going to add 18 and 27 we're going to get to the 45 once again so that's how we can confirm that we've divided 45 successfully amongst the ratios so looking at the steps first thing we did we added up these two ratios over here and we got our answer of 5 so we used 5 to find out how much is one ratio unit worth so we divided 45 by our 5 over here which is the sum of our ratios and we got the answer of 9 over here once we did that, 9 we knew was our 1 ratio unit, okay? And we had to turn it into a 2 and a 3 because that's the ratios that they asked us to divide it into that. So our 1 ratio unit, which was 9, we had to times by 2 for the first split up over here. And then our second, uh, our second ratio unit, we had to times by 3, right? Our 1 ratio unit, we times by 3 to get this over here. And so we got 18 is to 27. Now, if we're going to look at one more example, it says here, this is example number four, if I'm keeping count correctly. It says, Susan reads 1,350 words. in 15 minutes now they ask us to determine the rate at which reads in words per minute so if we can look for our key signs in here Susan reads 1350 words in 15 minutes right then to say determine the rate at which she reads in words per minute now this is a very important part. Remember earlier when we were dealing with kilometers per hour, when it was kilometers per hour, right? We wrote it like that. And remember I said we can write it as kilometers over hour to find out kilometers per hour, right? Now they're asking us to work out in words per minute. So we write it out as words per, sorry, words per minute. So we know that words per minute is gonna be words over minutes. Cool. So now if we can apply this, so they ask us to determine the rate. So to determine the rate, we know now it's gonna be words per minute. It would actually be preferred if in your answer, just to give yourself some help, you wrote, okay, first we, they're asking us to work out words per minute, right? So our rate is gonna be equal to words over minutes which is equal to so how many words 1350 words over 15 minutes right so if we're going to work that out 1350 words over 15 minutes it's going to give me an answer of 90. Now, once you get your answer, it's very important that you don't forget to write in your words per minute. Cool. 
you could write it with this forward slash over here or you could write the word per it really doesn't matter they mean the exact same thing but anyways that is going to conclude the recording for today thank you so much for joining